YouTube! Que pasa? Welcome back to another Bleach Brave Swords video on my channel. Okay, let's go. So, what else could it be as if it's not going to be another Max Transcendent Showcase? And yes, I did again Max Transcend another character. And today, bro, I think this is actually the only Nell I have Max Transcendent on my entire account. Don't remember Max Transcending ever an, an, another Nelly L. As far oh whoa wait 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 I have the baby Nell Max Transcendent right you know the one you get from the metal exchange from uh, from PVP that one I have Max Transcendent so theoretically this is the second one but the first one I don't even know if you if you can count it in that category anyways today we have another Max Transcendent character showcase and. Yeah, actually, one of my favorite designs of Nell. Um, I love, actually, the way this one dropped in the anime. And, yeah, it was actually hyped to Max Transcendent. There is actually another version which I would like to get Max Transcendent. I believe it's the Safwee version or is it it's the CFYO version. Not sure exactly. You know the one where she looks exaggerated, uh, crazy. That 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 one. Um, yeah, that that one. I only need two more copies, and I would have her Max Transcendent. So yeah, maybe maybe I can get her in the future. But anyways, today it's this Nell, and as you can see, she's Max Transcendent. 505 t20 um yes she has only got the three star um stamina at the extra slot however yeah i since i never played with her again let, let me let me make this clear i never played with her before i don't know how she plays i don't know if she's any good in any way right i know she's got soul reaper killer with the emergence of the new of the new uh gq maybe she becomes useful i don't know yet i doubt it but i don't know yet um, so I'm going to keep it at 3-star um, stamina, can't be bothered to reroll unless I see a reason to reroll, for instance, if I need her as a specific link and so forth, right? So I'm going to leave it as it is. As for now, she is 3-star stamina, she is normal attack damage, 20% character, so she is a nut unit, by the way. And yeah, her skills, right? She does have Lacerate on all of her attacks, which is nice. She does have Read, Soul Reaper, Dodges. She has Weaken Resistance, Sprinter plus two. So she's actually perfect for Soul Reaper Week in that sense. Um, she does have Devastation. She does have Decreased Damage taken from the Lynx right now. I did give her full stamina damage boost. Um, she has the Increased Heart Attribute Aranka Normal Attack Damage. Which is actually not a bad skill, depending. If you can make the right team synergy, you could make this actually work. Flurry plus one, debilitator plus two. I did give a damage to lacerated enemies. She has built-in long stride, which is so nice. Poise and hit hidden enemies. Actually, this character is actually a very good unit. If she had guard break, you could use her even as a viable option for auto running point events, I believe. Well, let's see anyways. I believe she is she is she ranged or is she melee? That is another thing we've got to see in a moment. I don't even know if she is ranged or melee. But anyways, that is basically her skill set. If you're thinking about building her, well, go all the way attack 30% on all of her um, equipments. Go gold chappy, normal chappy, and hollow bait. As for links, use free nut links. Um, that's the way forward. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into some gameplays. So we are running solo IT now since it is open and yes, she doesn't have paralyzed resistance. However, should be good. Oh, oh, she's she's ranged. Yeah, she doesn't have guard break, but she's ranged. That is actually nice. Her nut string feels good, yo. Her nut string feels good. I'm actually surprised right now. Man. I, lo I love the nut string. Like, it, it feels so satisfying playing with it. Like, she hasn't got the fastest nut string. I believe the fastest nut string I've seen so far was the um, the fierce battle version of Gein. That character plays so smooth. But this nut string right there, yo, it feels so nice. Like, I'm not I'm not exaggerating when I say them. Like, some, some characters, when you play with them, they're just so nice to play with. And... Honestly speaking, I already can tell she has a nice nut string. If she had guard break, 
Prof, if she had guard break, that would make her probably a character which I personally would use to run point events from time to time. Like, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, my Aizen exists here, and I don't see any substitute for Aizen ever. But Nell? Yo, Nell surprised me. She, she, she actually surprised me. Now, I never played much with Nell's in the game in the first place, right? So I'm not really a huge Nelly L fan or in general like a waifu fan, sort of simp waste uh, dude. I don't know. Um, never have understood all of that. But this Nell, definitely, I can see her, I can see her performing good. Um, the only other Nell I've played a few times with was, again, the Safi or the CFYO version. I don't know which version it is. That Nell was also very nice to play with, and she came in handy a few times in St. Kaiman, right? So that's basically has been her main um, appliance in, in the past on my account. So let's see a soul bump. Let's see what it looks like. Right. It's basically uh, the version of when she fought against Noitora in the anime. And uh, the Soul Bomb looks actually pretty nice, but yes, she couldn't nuke since she is a NAD unit and not an SP-based unit, right? So this time around, she is on Killer. Now let's see the damage difference, right? On oh, what was that? What? She's doing 93k damage on point event on the... On the... Uh, on the oh my god. God, bro, she's doing 90k. Was that 90k or am I am I am I blind? Right, wait. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> yo fam. She's doing 95k damage on the second stage of the extra stage of the current burn the witch point event. Right, she's doing 95k damage. Right. If this was like, as you can see on the IT we did just now, the solo IT, she was only doing like 10k, 11k. But she was off killer, right? She was off killer. If she was on killer, probably would have scaled even up to 30k if it goes good, right? If you, if she if she's on full stun. But this, yo, she she dropped that guy with 100k damage in one hit. That is that is insane. Like I don't know when this character dropped. I believe she dropped in 2018. Um, as far as I remember, but yo, this this is so satisfying to watch. I'm not gonna lie, this, this nut string is one of the most satisfying nut strings um, I've had in a hot minute, right? Since playing with um, Fierce Battle Gein and Masaki, and obviously Aizen, right? This nut string feels so good. And we, we don't want to forget Safui Ukitake. Right, and before we conclude the video, um, let's just quickly do this five-star summon tickets from the point event because, yeah, I'm, I, I can't be bothered saving this time around. So let's see what we're getting. Maybe Sam. Sam good? Oh, Momo, okay. Yo, she's new. Oh, yo, she's new as well. GG, nice. Uh, that's orbs. Loving it. I've only just seen she's the link slot potion unit as well. That's even a bigger win. Yo, that one, that ticket was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Well, yeah, guys, with that, I would like to conclude the video of my Max Transcendent Neliel showcase. And definitely, definitely very fun character. I was actually generally surprised how good this unit actually feels to play with. Like, there is always units that feel better to... Like, when I play with Artbook Ichigo, that, that Ichigo is fun to play with, right? When I play with um, the uh, the recent uh, resurrection version of uh, the Power Eisen, the one I have Max Transcendent, yo, that one is fun to play with, right? But this Neliel, she is fun to... I'm, I'm, I'm wondering when she's going to get her resurrection. Um, I hope sometime soon. And I do hope she picks up um, damage reduction by minus... 20%? That would be lovely. That would make her a perfect link for my Yuha um, for PvP. Definitely, definitely big option to have. Um, yeah, fun character. If, if I'm going to give her a rating, right, in terms of gameplay fun, right, I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10. Safe. Safe. For a nut unit, she's fun to play with. Unfortunately, she lacks crucial skills like guard break, right? If she had guard break, she would have been a 10 of 10 because, yes, yeah, you could use her as a viable runner for point events. Um, however, without having guard break, yeah, she, she falls just a bit short of that. Yes, her nut string is fun. However, that is a huge setback. Maybe in the future we get something like... Um, 
um, the, the the possibility from Caleb to use um, those skills for T15 or T20, that would be insanely broken. But I doubt that will ever happen. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this showcase of my T20 Max Transcendent Naliel. And yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching and until next time.